Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Don't think that I come here once again just to get your attention. But in some moments, my presence is necessary, with this deepest and most incisive aspect of mine to bring you to reality. I never said, at any time, that your ascension would be an easy process. It is not an easy process, it is not being an easy process, it will not be an easy process. It's because? Because the determining factor of all this change is just one, their minds, there is no other. So I'm going to start the story again, this story we've been telling here, again from the beginning. Who chose to walk the path away from the power given by God the Father or Mother? Who chose to open the door to feelings that do not come from the Divine? Who chose to live new adventures, exercising feelings contrary to love? Who allowed this planet to drop in vibration? What is the answer? I hope everyone has a single answer, you. The blueprint for this planet was created with something called free will, where you could make choices, whatever choice you wanted. And your souls have been making these choices for a long time. The souls that are essentially from this planet, many have known the fifth dimension, not all of them are only from the third. But they let themselves get carried away to such a point, in such a way, that they no longer remember anything, they can no longer feel anything that they felt at that time. So we can say that they are completely third dimensional souls, because they have forgotten what they once experienced. The souls who arrived here and who helped populate this planet, who helped live the golden age back there, know exactly what I'm talking about. But many also chose to have more power than father or mother God, they chose to fall into conscience. So there is a sum of desires and desires of the souls existing here, desires with terrible consequences for the planet, because they ended up causing this planet to fall into the third dimension. And so you have lived, each time emanating more and more negative feelings. I would like you to remember just one point, no soul on this planet has been born now, they are extremely old souls, they have been here for a long time. And with each incarnation lived, he has placed himself on the path of evolution. Yes, you are no longer the barbarians you were a long time ago, because the light has always intervened in the ascension and evolution of this planet. So I ask each of you, where have we been all this time? Ah, uh, I answer in the minds of many, sleeping in a hammock, chatting, drinking juice, catching the sea breeze, letting human and earthly civilization self-destruct. So I tell you this, if we were actually lying in the hammock drinking juice and catching the breeze, you would have self-destructed a long time ago. You would not have passed the dark ages, this planet would already be a planet completely without human life on its surface. So don't think and don't think that we don't do anything we just can't change humanity's free will. Everything you are experiencing is a consequence of your minds and your actions, not ours. And be grateful for everything we have done, so that you have come this far, because otherwise, as I said, there would be no more life on this planet. Many insist on thinking that we are watching everything idly, doing nothing, just watching you fight each other, you kill each other, you self-destruct. And I answer, Unfortunately, we really can't do anything, because we respect the choices of each soul. When do we act? When a soul realizes the mistakes they are making and asks for our help. I want to change, I want to evolve. Ah, it's the password for us to act. So let's think about it this way, many of you made the same request to us, many of you woke up to love. So for some time now we have been working on changing this planet from the timeline to evolution. And that's what's happening. But, no, we don't do anything, we don't help you in any way, we continue lying in the hammock. Now, what do you do to change this? What do you do to change the very vibrations of the planet? Oh yes, I would say that at some times, at some days, at some moments, you do beautiful meditations, you pray, you even behave appropriately. But when the first obstacle appears, you look like those tantrum children, who stamp their feet wanting something, and then they start screaming, crying, complaining, blaspheming because they have that obstacle in front of them. 
they fail to realize that each obstacle is a level that you will raise. It's as if he's saying, look, you've made it this far, congratulations. So now you have a test, you have a test, so you can move to the next level. And so, instead of filling your hearts with love, filling your hearts with trust, remember everything you have already learned and ask for our help first, help me overcome this obstacle with awareness and expansion of my awareness, so that I can do it correctly. It would be a great joy for us to be there by your side, guiding you, showing you within your heart how to overcome that obstacle. But no, you stamp your feet, throw tantrums, roll on the floor, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. They return to being those third-dimensional children that they always were, where the ego speaks louder. Everything I want, I want to have. So I scream, I kick, I complain, I hit someone to get what I want. So realize that your egos are still there, immense, big. I've already said it here and I'll say it again, there will be losses. Okay, everyone is desperate. What am I going to lose? Am I going to lose my house, am I going to lose my family, am I going to lose everything I have, am I going to lose my money? And I ask you a question, are you going to the fifth dimension, are you going to take anything with you? So why mine? Your house is not yours, you don't take it with you. Her family doesn't belong to you, you don't take her with you. Your things are ephemeral, you will not take them with you. Your money won't be worth it in the fifth dimension. So why the worry, why the fear of losing? Losing what you don't have? So watch how you put things. You want to put everything together in a big bag and pull it out. And I tell you that the path is full of stones and nails, which will quickly tear your bag, and you will continue to lose everything, because you will not be able to carry anything. So when we say, there will be losses, let go, what do you do? They begin that litany of despair, of what am I going to lose? Will you lose what you don't have? You today live in the third dimension, within what is necessary. With each step, with each level you climb, a lot will be left behind, a lot will change. And if with every step you take, you cry, throw a tantrum, roll on the floor, stamp your feet. Look, I'm going to tell you, the slip will be big and you'll end up back at the end of the line again. Because apparently, they didn't learn anything, they forgot everything that was already said here. Nothing is yours. You are living within what you have for your soul walk but you will take nothing. So why so much despair, why so much fear of losing everything? Memories stay in the heart, not on papers. Now, if you really need the reassurance that what's mine is in my hands, feel free. What was said is so that you do not trust what is in your neighbor's hands, not physically, because no one leaves anything physical in their neighbor's hands, these are things that are important to you today and if they disappear, you will be sad. We don't want that, not right now. I would tell you that it is a journey of detachment over time. It won't be instantaneous, for those who prepare. Now you take everything literally. No one stops to ask us, can you explain to me better what you mean? No, they start to spread despair, and then it involves other people who have nothing to do with it, who were balanced and end up becoming unbalanced too. And then I ask you, what do you think Gisera or Nizera will be? It's a perfect system, there are no injustices there. But you are still afraid of losses. What losses? You will get what you deserve. Everyone will have what they deserve. So, what does it look like in your head? Ah, I think I'm going to cause more despair. So I would say to you the following, the only thought that each of you has to have at this moment is about your journey. I've said it here a few times and I'll say it again because you forgot, each person will go through what is necessary for the evolution of their soul. Ah, I'm afraid of going hungry. If for your soul to evolve it is necessary for you to go hungry, you will, even if you have bought an entire market, you will starve. He who didn't buy anything, didn't gather anything, if it doesn't say starving on his path, he won't go hungry. Ah, but how will this happen? 
either you trust or you don't trust. This is the big test, is to hand over the journey to your evolution. Everyone will go through what they have to go through. I've already said it and I'll say it again, everyone is where they need to be, no one is in the wrong place. So, if where you are, you will lose everything, but you will emerge unharmed and ready to continue the journey, it is a point of evolution for your soul. Now there are those who will remain well allocated in their homes, it is also a point of their souls. Each person will go through what is necessary for their evolution, there is no way to change that, there is no way to predict what will come. So I don't understand these despairs, I don't understand these imbalances. And don't judge us because we don't do anything. Haven't you learned this yet? Everything you go through is a consequence of your vibrations, we can't do anything. Unless there is a consciousness of humanity, so that we can act in the whole. We hope that you will reach this awareness very soon, we have faith in that. But if every time we speak, you have these attitudes, really that brief one will be very distant. Because you are not ready, you become more and more unbalanced. Effectively you are generating your walks, you are leading the change on the planet. And if at every moment of doubt this is reverberated, that moment of change is getting further and further away. What's left for you to trust in what will come? And there is no point in imagining what it will be like, because it is the journey of each soul. You will have to get rid of everything that is there as a shadow in the path of your souls. So everyone will have to go through whatever they have to go through and if they trust and have courage, they will do well. Now if you sit down, cry, kick and roll on the floor, then you are really signing the agreement that you don't want to evolve, you just want to complain, you just want to feel afraid, you just want to contest. Really, when we think you are moving forward, you take two steps back. And I can say the following, each message, each day, will be more difficult to swallow, because the moment approaches. So if with each message, you push the moment further, then we will have nothing to do, we will simply remain silent. And when everything starts to happen, then you will look at us and say, wow, you didn't say anything. What's the point of talking? So if each message lowers your vibration, we won't say anything else. You will be taken by surprise and will complain all the same. But at this point, we are deciding to do whatever it takes to change this planet. So if you are not ready to hear anything, you won't hear it, you will be taken by surprise. And then the next thing you know, it's already happened, and you didn't have time to do anything. Better that way? So it will be. We won't let you know any more, well let you continue your journey. It may be that in this way, you will reach the necessary point of great change. And then when this day comes, maybe the crying will be greater, maybe the suffering will be greater, but at least you will be there. So this is an option that we will have. We won't say anything else, we won't say anything else. Just messages of optimism, messages of love, messages of overcoming. We will not warn you anything more, so that you can learn to simply trust. We will let you follow the path, without knowing what it will be like you will be taken by surprise. Then don't complain, but we know that you will complain a lot, that we didn't warn you anything, that we didn't give you the chance to do anything. For what? For you to push the whole process back? So we won't say anything else, let's continue the journey, let's continue the way we have been doing. We no longer have time for this back and forth of your vibration, it's no longer possible. The planet's vibration has already dropped too much with this war, we need to push the planet forward. When I say planet, I'm not referring to Gaia, because Gaia is already up front, I'm referring to the human race. So let's push the human race forward, giving everyone the chance to make their own changes, but without alerts, without warnings, just showing that we are there, all the time, and whatever happens, we will be by your side as long as you ask for our help. So we end here, any kind of warning we could give. You won't have that anymore. We had planned a sequence of warnings, so that you could prepare yourself, it doesn't work. And don't think that you are few, 
because you vibrate in a very high range and this range has a higher speed than the lower ranges. So everything you emanate quickly spreads across the planet. So we won't do that anymore. We will go, as you say, to plan B. A plane where the world is wonderful, everything is right and you will be taken by surprise. We will do nothing more. Yes, we will be, giving you strength, showing that we are there, giving you ways to protect yourselves, giving you the paths to clear your paths, this we will do. But you won't know anything else. This was the path you chose. And no, there is no point in asking us to change. It's a decision made. Let's emanate only love, nothing else. This is what you want, so this is what you will get. Our help for the journey, that's all. What will happen up front, when it happens, you will know. We are changing everything from today. And rest assured, we are with each one of you who asks for our help, and who trusts in our help, and who trusts that whatever happens, we will be by your side. Every choice has a consequence. And we are truly choosing today to let you lead the process by raising your vibrations. Let's change tactics, so that you effectively raise your vibrations and each one exercises what they have already learned. Now, when everything starts to happen, don't look at the heavens and ask where we are. We are where we have always been, always respecting your free will and choices.